St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner, so today I'm going to be sharing with you how to do this really easy fade nail design. It's You'll just need a few items, and I'm going to give alternatives to if you don't have those items. So anyone can achieve this look and try it out for themselves. If you're interested in how I got this green fade nail manicure, then please continue to watch. I've already used my nail hardener on my nails, as you can tell, and my base coat, as well as two coats of the Revlon Color Stay Nail Polish in Rainforest. This is a dark, like, four screen nail polish with lots of shimmers in there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can use anything you would like. Um, glitter polish, anything. So, it doesn't matter, just anything you're choosing. But you do want to make sure that this is completely dry. So, two coats of that, and this was, um, painted on last night, so it's definitely dry. And you'll need a makeup sponge for this, some striping tape, but if you don't have striping tape, you can always use regular tape like this. Just cut it in little teeny tiny strips. What I like to do if I'm doing a nail look with striping tape is I like to just go ahead and have my pieces out laid out and that's what I've done here and I've already done most of my fingers so I'm going to show you on two of them but basically you'll need like 30 little strips uh, for three um, on each finger so you need to do that and along with your dark green polish and you can use this with any nail polish mind you um, need a lighter green, so I'm using Nail Fantasies Twist and Shout, which I'm not sure if you can buy this brand anymore. It's pretty old. Central Colors Nail Polish in Exotic Green. So those are the colors I'm going to be using. First thing you want to do after, your nail, after you've given time for your nail polish to dry is take your striping pieces of tape, your striping tape, and place them. If you're having trouble with this, you can always use tweezers. But I don't really like using the tweezers. Just personal preference. Try to get them as straight as you can. It's kind of hard, but it just takes a little time. That's how you want it to be taped off. You're going to get your makeup sponge and you're going to do your fade. And this can also get messy so you can tape off your fingers too. There's tons of videos on how to do that too. Just tape your fingers off. Let's clean up. But I don't mind the cleanup, so I'm not going to do that. Allow that just a moment to soak into the sponge. And then we're going to sponge it on. Make sure you get all the sides. And instead of um, layering any more of the lighter green, I take and on the other side of the sponge, I do a little bit of the exotic green color, the deeper one. Because I feel you don't get enough of that color actually on there in the fade so I just liven it up a little bit basically and that's all and you want to allow that just a few seconds to dry and then you're going to peel your tape off and it's really easy and simple to remove the tape you just I like to grab all three pieces 
I know you probably cannot see this and I just tear it off so easy simple and that's how you do it and even if it hasn't been that long you can always just rip your tape up it doesn't really do much damage it just now sometimes if the polish is too goopy it will do damage next you'll want to clean up your area and I just have some acetone nail polish remover on a little q-tip here and just cleaning up my skin and try to be careful not to take off design that you've already done after you've cleaned up and your nail polish is completely dry, the next step would be to apply a top coat. This is my new favorite top coat. It's a jet dry. It's from Kiss and it dries in 60 seconds or less. And it actually really does work. And um, it was under $4 at the Dollar General. So go check it out if you have Dollar General. And um, also you can add glitter in this step. You can add rhinestones to, you know, do another little design thingy on top if you wish but I like it just the way it is so I'm going to apply my top coat sealing in my design and don't forget to do your free edge just like that so, now you wait for that to dry and your design is complete. I hope you guys found it helpful. You'll try it out for yourself. If you do, let me know. Thank you guys for watching.